Namaste students, welcome back to accountancy class. I have started with the adventure of a bathtub. Here I have put up a, uh, one illustration where we have studied in the last class uh, to prepare the revaluation account. I have put up one more uh, illustration. Okay, so before that I will read out the question. This is a question. Take down this question students along with me. Try to solve the solve in the paper. Okay. So here we have Sachin and David are the partners sharing profits and the losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Their balance sheet as of 31st 3, 2017 was as follows. And the balance sheet is given for the 31st 3, 2017. Cash in hand rupees 2000. Cash in bank rupees 18,000. Sunday letters 25,000 minus PDD rupees 2000. So all together in the outer column they have written 23,000. Stock rupees 10,000. Furniture rupees 25,000. Building rupees 50,000. Profit and loss account rupees 5,000. Similarly, even the liability side, creditors 18,000. Bills payable 20,000. Reserve fund rupees 3,000. And the capitals of Sachin and David is given. Sachin 50,000, David also 50,000 together 1 lakh rupees. Along with the uh, balance sheet, they have also given the certain adjustments. On 1-4-2017, Ashwin is admitted into the partnership on the following terms. Okay, third party admitted. First, Sachin and David were running the business. Now, Ashwin got admitted to the partnership. He brings rupees 40,000 as capital and rupees 18,000 towards the goodwill of one fourth of the share of the future profits. So this uh, will not be taken to the, that is related to the partner's capital account. It will not be taken to the uh, revaluation, while preparing the revaluation accounts. Next we have PDD is increased to rupees 3500. See, I have told you people, uh, in the revaluation format, okay, in the revaluation format, we have debit side and we have credit side. And the rules of uh, revaluation is increases in assets A is credited. Decreases in assets are debited. Correct? Increases in the assets are credited, debited, uh, credited, decreases are debited. Next we have increases in liability debited, decreases in liability it is credited. This is a rules. Coming to this problem, PDD is increased to rupees 2500. See the balance sheet students. Balance sheet where we have written sundry debtors. Sundry debtors is under the asset side. We can write this PDD rupees 2000 in the liability side. In the liability side. It is a liability. That is why instead of showing in the liability side, they have minus here itself rupees 2000 and written in the outer column. But instead of 2000 writing here under the assets, we can also write under the liability. That is also a right thing. Okay. Uh, so PDD is considered as a liability. So what happened? What is the sentence here? PDD is increased to rupees 3500. Increased. PDD is liability. We know it is liability. Liability increases. What will happen? What is the rules of the liability? Liability increases should be debited. Okay. How much it should be debited? It is given 2 rupees 3500. If they have given 5 rupees 3500, same amount we should write. But 2 pays 3500 minus 2000. What is the value? You have right that uh, the difference is 1500. Okay. This is how we should show it is debited. Revaluation is debited. Next we have depreciate furniture by 10%. Furniture depreciation. Where is the furniture? What is the amount of the furniture? 25,000. So 25,000 depreciate 10%. Asset decreases are debited. So once again, furniture, it is 25,000 into 10%. It is considered as 2,500. And building are revalued 
50,000. What is the value of the building? Actually, before we had 50,000. Now, what happened? 45,000. What happened to the value of the building? Value of the building went down. How much it went down? 5,000 rupees. Means decrease in the value of an asset again gives the building under the revaluation account. Next, we have prepaid insurance rupees 2000. See the format. What I have given? Format. Prepaid items are prepaid items are credited and outstanding items are debited. So prepaid insurance will be written under the by prepaid insurance under credit side. Now I will show you how you have to do the problem here. Okay, they have asked, they had asked to prepare revaluation account. Okay, prepare revaluation account. I will uh, show that if possible, I will show here only. Uh, preparation of, okay, I will I'll just show here students. See, you have to prepare revaluation, revaluation account. There we have debit side and credit side. This is two amount column. So, two amount column. This is called two side and this is considered as five side. Let me uh, once again uh, see the PDD. PDD is increased to rupees 3500. PDD is considered as a liability. Liability increases. Liability increases according to our rule. It is according to the revaluation rule. Revaluation account data to PDD increase in PDD increase in the PDD. What is value of the amount uh, value of PDD? 3500 minus 2000. It is considered as 1500. Next we have depreciate furniture by 10%. Depreciate decrease in the value of an asset is once again revalued. Uh, under revaluation, it is uh, once again should be written under the debit. So, to depreciation on furniture, depreciation on furniture, see the value of the furniture, 25,000 into rate of interest 10%, so it is 2,500. See? Since it, there is no much place, I will erase this and I will continue here itself. Okay, students, I will continue here itself. Okay. So here, uh, to depreciation on furniture, 25,000 into 10%. 2500. I have written 2500. Same after this, what I am supposed to write, I am writing here. So uh, I think I have finished. Yeah, building are uh, revalued rupees 45,000. What is the value of the building? Building is rupees 50,000. Now we are revaluing it at 45,000. What happened to the building? Building's value went down. So when building value goes down, it is decreased. If it is decreased in the asset, we know it is to be debited. So Nine thousand. 
partner. These two are existing partner. One who comes in the third column is a new partner. So for the existing partner, you have to divide the amount. How much ever amount? If it is 5000, if it is ratio is 1 is to 1, then 2500, 2500. If it is 5000, if their ratio is 3 is to 2, according to the 3 is to 2 only, you have to divide it. Next we have, uh, I will come back to the goodwill later on. After that you have profit and loss account. See that problem, which problem I had given, Sachin and David problem itself you see. If you can observe under SS profit and loss account. If it is under the SS profit and loss account is there. Okay, if it is under the SS, if it is given as a pro, uh, profit and loss. Then what you have to do? Uh, it is considered as a profit. Under asset if it is given, it is profit. It is loss. If it is accumulated loss. If it is under the liability if it is given, then it is called as accumulated profit. Okay. So I have written by profit and loss. If it is liability side, liability is side, correct? Liability side, then by profit and loss, you have to write the amount profit. If it is under the asset side, then you have to write loss this is loss if we get here then we have to write the amount under this column why I am writing only for the two members because they are the existing members since uh, before the newcomer uh, come uh, before new person entered to the business these were running so they have all the rights to get the share of the profit also and they have to pay the losses also that is why we are transferring Okay, so this amount of the profit or the loss will be from the balance sheet. Next we have revaluation. Just now before preparing the partner's capital account, before showing the partner's capital account, just now we have, I have shown the uh, preparation of revaluation account. So we prepared the revaluation account, we got the balance as a profit, to profit transfer to. Okay, partner's capital account. If it is profit, I think we got around, uh, profit is around 7,000. That 7,000 we have to divide between these two existing partner, not with the old partner. If it is profit, it will go here. If we get the loss, we have to write to revaluation, to revaluation account, to revaluation account. Similarly, they will also tell a new partner while coming to the business, he brought the new capital, okay, uh, or uh, the cash he has brought. So, by cash account, okay, we have to write the word by cash account. He, not by X or Y, it should be written under the Z column because Z, per, Mr. Z has brought rupees, whatever amount, if it is 10,000. 50,000 whatever amount, it should be written under the Z because he is a newcomer while coming he has brought certain amount that should be written under the Z. Next, I think almost I have discussed. Now we have goodwill. What is goodwill? Goodwill is nothing but it's a reputation for the business. Correct? It is a reputation for the business. This also should be shared with the old partner. If it is normal goodwill, see, if it is this kind of goodwill is considered as a normal goodwill. So what you have to do, when a person entered to the business, he also brought goodwill. Okay, along with the uh, goodwill, uh, and along with the capital, he has also brought the goodwill. That should be shared between existing partner, old partner is, it is distributed to the old partner. If goodwill is there, then it is distributed to the old partner. Sometimes they will tell goodwill is withdrawn. When it is withdrawn, the entry will be partner's capital account debtor to cash account. Okay, partner's capital account debtor to cash account. It will be withdrawn by the everyone. It will be withdrawn here if it is withdrawn. Goodwill withdrawn. Goodwill is withdrawn. Then you have to write it this side. Then goodwill if it is retained. Okay, that I will tell you later on, but uh, just to see the normal goodwill, if it is goodwill is given, just to take down the goodwill, if the goodwill is withdrawn, then you write this side as a two cash, show under this as goodwill. Okay, now I will tell you, I will just, uh, uh, till now I have just given the imaginary figure, now with the problem we will see the revaluation partner's capital account, okay.
Okay. Take a problem now. Same problem where Sachin and David was there and they admitted Ashwin to our partnership. Correct? To the new partnership. Now I will show you. Till now I have said how the format of partners capital account. Now I will tell you how to do the partners capital account if it is given like this. See. See they will also give the balance sheet and certain adjustment will be given. First adjustment, see the first adjustment. Uh, before that, on 1 4 2017, they admit Ashwin as a new partner into the partnership on the following terms. First one, he brings rupees 40,000 as capital and rupees 18,000 towards goodwill for one fifth of one fourth of the share in the future profit. But I can't write the starting only with the goodwill or capital. Before that, I have to finish what are the other items were there. So, by balance brought down, by balance brought down, okay, I have to change the name, correct? I have to, I have to write the name what is given in the book itself. So, I will write Sachin David Ashwin. Same name I will write here also. We have to draw a uh, Three amount to call up because three partners are there now. Two partners were existing partner or old partner and one partner is new partner. So, Sachin, David and Ashwin. Ashwin. First one is by balance brought down. From where to bring by balance brought down? See the question. See the capital. Capital of each partner is 15,000. So, 50,000, 50,000. Next we have by reserve fund, rupees 3,000. So, reserve fund, reserve fund, rupees 3,000. Reserve fund, rupees 3,000. So, so, you have reserve fund now. See the reserve fund balance. Reserve fund we have around 3000. Okay, 3000. That should be multiplied with the their ratio that is 3 is to 2. It can also be written as 3 by 5 is to 2 by 5. Whatever value you will get, you will write it here. It is 1800 and 1200. Reserve fund. Next we have. Under asset, profit and loss rupees 5000. Profit and loss, if it is under asset, asset comes here, it should be written under the debit. If it is under the liability, liability is said, it should be written under the credit. Now see properly under which it is written. It is written under the asset, profit and loss rupees 5000. So, 2. It is in the asset side, so I am bringing here 2 profit and loss. This is called as accumulated loss. Okay, accumulated loss of this. If it is written this side, then accumulated profit. Since it is accumulated loss, how to calculate? What is the amount of the profit and loss? 5000 into 3 divided 3 is to 2. 5000 into 3 is to 2. It is 3000 and 2000. 3000 and 2000. Next we have, after writing that, you can see, uh, just to recall the format, how we have written. In that we only have written, see by balance brought down, reserve fund is there, profit and loss is there. Then next we have to see the, uh, we finished writing whatever was there in the balance sheet. Now we have to see the uh, adjustment. He brings rupees 40,000. So, by cash, when he comes, he will bring rupees 40,000. Not a new partner, existing partner, old, uh, new partner brought to pay 40,000. So, directly writing 40,000. Next, we have by, just now we calculated revaluation account. You know, revaluation account, what was the balance? Uh, it was around 4,000, and uh, uh, not around 4,000, it was around 7,000. Where 7,000 we have divided. So, uh, it was a loss. If it is loss, we should write under debit side to loss or revaluation account or to revaluation account also we can write inside the bracket we can show it as a loss
loss. Okay? okay. So here we had a loss of rupees 7000. 7000 I have given division that is 3 is to 2. It, it will be written as 4200 and 2800 rupees. Next we have see the problem. He towards he also brought goodwill rupees 18,000. So by goodwill account 18,000 into their ratio that is 3 is to 2. Even though it is a goodwill he has brought, it is for the old partner. So it will come around 10,800 <coughs> and 7,200. Okay. This much will come. I think we have finished everything. It is, uh, uh, it might be goodwill, it might be capital or it might be some other, any other item we have finished. Now, let us total this. Okay. Total this. Okay. So, when you add, now it is done with the debit side and credit side. Now, you have to total it. Total side of the debit here, you know, it is coming around 62. 800 okay 62 sorry 62 600 rupees and even the debit side the balance figure when you minus 54 62 sorry here we will do 62 600 when you total here around 40,000 same thing you will write 62 600 40,000 Okay, 40,000 and 58,000. 50. Okay, so I have written the total of each. Highest total should be written both sides. So I have got 62,500, 58,400, and 40,000. Here also 62,500, 58,400, same thing. But when you add, here it is less. So that should be trans. This is called as balance. How I have written balance? Brought down similarly, I will write a, write a balance carried down. It is coming around 55,400 and here it comes around 53,600 and next it is 40,000. So this is how the balancing figure is drawn. So once again I will repeat students. You have to do the partner's capital account after preparation of the revaluation account. So you have three amount column. Both the side, debit and credit, it is there. By balance brought out, it should be brought from the other side. And reserve fund and cash back, uh, and the cash and the uh, goodwill. Cash, what uh, the new partner while coming, he will bring that cash and the goodwill of the existing partner. Okay, now uh, I'll teach you in the next class. Uh, Thank you, students.